I'm a dog and that's true, baby Can we call this here a truce, baby? And you know I got the juice, baby And you see me in this cool, baby So what's up, everybody? It's your boy Nick back at y'all with another music reaction review first listen whatever you want to call these videos today we're about to check out this russell aka pride some of y'all might know him as pride um some of y'all might know him as d pride he, he recently just changed his name to russell so we're gonna respect that and we're gonna listen to this new russell album I first heard of russell around 2015 2016 a lot of people knew him when he was d pride i think i think i started listening to him when he first just just dropped it like dropped the d no homo uh, Paul. Since then, and being a fan of him, I've witnessed him go through so many different changes. His work ethic is crazy, and I, f I feel like I feel like he gets overlooked. And I know as a as a creative person, how frustrating that can be. Putting out quality content, quality content across the board, and not getting your recognition on top of like the stuff that he's dealing with. Um, you know what I'm saying? With his mother passing and everything. You feel me? Um, so, I, I definitely gotta support this dude. So yeah, we're about to get right into this album. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my main channel. Got 11K over there, that's where I do skits, um, little parodies, everything over there, man. But yeah, go ahead and leave a like because the video's about to be lit. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not turned on my notifications to be notified every single time that I upload. Without further ado, let's get right into Russell, man. All right, track number one, Feed the Family. It's my time here, baby, let me start this show. I agree with you, bro. I don't believe in complacence, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in it, bro. I'm always trying to move forward. I'm always striving for the next best thing. I'm never content with being stagnant. So that was Feed the Family. Great intro track. I always felt like I had a connection. No. I don't want to sound like no weirdo, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of niggas try to act like they know you or act like they just like you or, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be like that, but I feel like I got a kind of a, a connection connection with him because it's like, I feel him. I feel him on a lot of levels, bro. Like, me and my dad's relationship is not really, you know what I'm saying, not the best, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put all my information out there. I'm not going to put all my, my life story out there, but me and my dad's, me and my dad not cool, bro. Like, we just not, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 he was never really around like that. And, you know what I'm saying, my mom... My mom is the pri was the primary, you know, figure in my life. She took care of me. She made sure I ate. She made sure I had a roof over my head. Made sure, provided me with all the things that I needed and things that I also wanted. And always encouraged me to be myself and do what I want to do. You know, even right now, I'm I'm not in college. Uh, I feel like I feel like college wasn't for me. A lot of people uh, and a lot of people judge me for that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people. Um, think I'm stupid for not being in college, think blah, 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 whatever. You know what I'm saying? I graduated with a 3.5, 3.6, I don't remember. I'm not no dumb kid, you feel me? So a lot of people feel like I'm kind of wasting, wasting my smartness or something, I don't know. But uh, my mom always encouraged me to do what I wanted, what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? She never like pushed me to, to be something that wasn't already in me, that I didn't want. Um, and from what he from what he says in his music, his mom was very was very encouraging to him to be himself. He lost his mother. I don't know what I would do like without my mom. And so I know it's probably very hard on him. I could I couldn't even begin to understand his pain. You know what I'm saying behind that situation. But besides like you know what I'm saying besides that, like I can relate to him on a lot of different levels. And him him being a creative person and I always want to do the next the next thing. You know what I'm saying creatively 
and always reinventing himself and always working on himself like I, I feel like that's kind of how I am but mine is more mentally like I try to I work on myself mentally like every day he's gonna make sure his family good make sure his family's well taken care of before he you know what I'm saying blow his riches on material things I would definitely take care of my family before I do anything else but yeah let's get to track number two I talked way too much track number two first day I love that instrumental, man. I love what he's doing. He's kind of like, he's kind of like telling his story. You feel me? Like telling his story and and things that he's dealing with and things that he's experienced in his life. Track number three, Marbles. See, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about that track at first, bro. I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but man, I love that hook. Don't F with me today. Don't F with me tomorrow. And then, like I said, I just love that how he's telling his story, bro. Like y'all know, y'all know, y'all know how I feel about when artists like are real. You know what I'm saying? Vulnerable. Uh, if y'all watch the Saba, if y'all watch the Saba review, like that's how I was feeling, bro. I was like, I, I love when an artist is is vulnerable. Nigga, I'm, I'm that nigga, and I've always been that nigga. It's like, nah, bro, you wasn't always that nigga, bro. Like, everybody starts somewhere. People appreciate the story, man. The story behind your come up, you know what I mean? Because it gives people hope. Try number four, The Walls. Excuse me. The Walls. <laughs> When when artists like include girls like saying their name and stuff like that, bro, that's just so hard to me. Like it kind of reminds me of one of my favorite songs by him, "Not Supposed to Be Here." Uh, so he's like, "I'm not supposed to be here, supposed to be here at all." But I think that might be my favorite track so far. Uh, I don't know though. I like I like that second track. I like the first track a lot too. Um, I don't know, but this nigga talented, bro. Like he. He can do he can do a lot of different things, bro. Like he can do a lot of different things, like music music wise. Nigga can make a whole singing song. Nigga can make a whole rapping song. Nigga can do both. You feel me? I don't know what it is about these uh, Canadian niggas, bro. Canadian niggas is they got this music stuff on lock. Try number five. Cry for me. Die for me. Who gonna ride for me? I want you Feel 
you, bro. Like it's it's a lot of people who say that they they really like there for you, and say that they do anything for you. But it's not a lot of people that actually like die for you, bro. Like like for real. Like that are really, you know, what I'm saying, put their life on the line for you and sacrifice things for you. <laughs> Some niggas wouldn't even give up a pair of shoes for you, bro. Lately, man, I really feel a hell of cold as shit. Isolated and alone as shit. Still waiting on a call from you, but shit's not a move cause you don't exist. Mom died of feeling all the shit. It's been too fast, how I grown the shit. Got me feeling hella down, down, trying to smoke a lot so I can cope with it. People really try and push me. People really try and brush me. Out the wrong way on the wrong days, but I just know they hella pussy. The other night I felt like I shit. Got me calling up my ass and shit. Got me smoking cigarettes and shit. Alcohol got me confessing shit. Everybody think I'm stainless steel. Everybody think I'm made of metal. They don't get a fucking made of real. They don't get that out of sleep. Bro, 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 bro. I'm telling you, bro. I, I feel the same way. Niggas think that you that you really like bulletproof, bro. Like like stuff don't hurt you, bro. Like I'm human just like you. Niggas really be acting like you a robot. Weird. It's like when you the the strong friend or the the strong person or the person that you know what I'm saying t takes a lot. Or people will act like. Nothing should hurt you, like you being sensitive about everything if you respond to something. You're only human. They don't see I had a major deal. They don't know that I slept on the couch trying to punch it out so I can make it here. There's certain things that I want to say, but I don't know how they make it feel. Definitely my, my, my favorite track on here, man. I just said, it's funny because I just said the last track was my favorite track on here. The realness of it, the way I can relate to it. The flow, he came in with, that flow was nice how he came in there, man. Just the instrumental was just so smooth, bro. Took the sad boy out of me, bro. Like sad boy Nick here, man. Track number six, until there's nothing left. Bro, come on, bro. No more sad okay. stuff, bro. Oh, when niggas get the mumbling, they, they gonna start snapping. Uh, I'm feeling like my mom, the world's against me on my lonesome. But still, I feel like all success is coming a little closer. I'm far from a loser, you raised me. I roll a living life like a crack dealer pitching on his coda. Homie, I'm free. The top looks nice, and for my home. She was having fun trying to confiscate this book that she found But I can't wait to see her face when I say look at me now It's fucking Russell, that's the name that I done Bruh, like I hate people like that Who get joy out of other people feeling uncomfortable Feed off of your pain, bro, like that's weird Lonely and lovely, been that way since you youth This goes out to any kid that still be facing abuse You can't let the merit tower over you Fuck them if they control you Used to be the shy, really scared type But then I saw that none of these pussies would shoot a fair fight Man, Russell, you got hands, bro. I feel like you might have got them monos, my nigga. You, you, be, you be scrapping niggas, bro. You be dropping niggas. Tell me, Russell. Tell me. Okay, so that was Until There's Nothing Left. Uh, like that track, you know what I'm saying? Not one of my favorite tracks, but nonetheless, I, I still like what he was doing and the stuff he was saying in that track. Uh, track number seven, Pink Hair 95. Nani? Yeah, it sound like this song. It sound like Gunna. It's, it reminds me of that. You know I love, you know I love, you know the people in my past don't mess me up. Oh. That just shows you he can, he can do it all, man. What did he say? Um, Aubrey meets Travis Barker meets Skrillex meets Olga Charlotte. That's why I want to succeed, bro. I see myself in him. It's weird, bro. Like, I don't want to say that because I don't want y'all to think, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm on this nigga nuts, bro. Like, no, like, it's not like that, bro. It's just, like, it's certain people that you can relate to, bro. And you be like, dang, like, dang, this nigga understands. Track number eight, I'm broken. Whiskey been my best friend Think, think it boy, think it
wish I would have knew what they were saying at the end. Usually, I don't like like slow singing songs like that. Uh, try number nine, 410. Production for this nigga, bro. I'm gonna slap. Leonardo DiCaprio. Watch out, boys. I might bag yo. Oh. It's a beat thing to say because of his talent, he's gonna be the best. But yeah, I definitely like that track, man. That's one of my favorites. Uh, track number 10, Hell of a. Kinda really didn't like it as much. Track number 11, Booty Call. You ever seen that movie, Booty Call? Movie funny. Yeah, they hate me cause I'm way too wavy, oh, oh. So yeah. she tried to play me, I'm like, bitch, you crazy, oh. Huh, <laughs> yo. Yeah, and what's he, where Rob was staying, oh. Huh, <laughs> what? You can do it better. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. You can do it better. You can what? Hold on, hold on, yo. You can do it better. Oh. Uh -huh. That girl just brought her man. Yeah, that fuckboy got it. Smoking on gelato, going full throttle. I'm up for the bottle. Yeah. Pay me, that's the motto. And I got some models. She always I got a ass little ways. She loved a boy, so she gave me face. Uh living this way. She see the As far as bangers, favorite track on here. As far as like sad songs, cry for me, die for me. You snapped on that, my guy. Track number 12, friends. friends. It's hot in the hole here, bro. Oh, Okay, so friends, it was a cool song. Uh, didn't like it as much as I like some of the other songs, but uh, it, was, it was cool though. I like the look. <laughs> Try number thirteen. Bring it back home. Uh, Talk number 14, Pixar movies. Baby, this some swag rap. Go and get that bag rap. That Drake and Saint Laurent shit. That fucking up sex rap. My mom would tell me that I'm handsome right now. People think this shit was random. That's my passion. I'm proud. Puppet trees till the AM. I'm still action that's loud. So the Pixar movies, I gotta talk real fast because my camera's about to die. I liked it, but I, to be honest, I don't see myself listening to that. Track number. 15, which is the last track, February 15th. Stomach is so, that's why I hate that you got the nerve to be asking me why I be so cold. Oh. He doesn't even know Russell's full name, Russell's real name. But in fact, Russell's real name is just after him. Because Russell's real name is Gilbert Russell. He was named after the father. And the father can't even remember that. Bro, bro, if you a father and you're not taking care of your kids, bro, you are the worst scum on the earth. How can you not take care of a mini you, bro? It's literally you. And the fact that, the, that he was named after you, bro, like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. But that was Russell and, bro, bravo, bro, bravo, man. This felt like a movie, bro. It really gave your fans insight of you, you know what I'm saying? I know you're real transparent in a lot of your music, but I, I like this body of work. Really want this dude to make it, man. Cause I feel like he's one of the hardest working artists out uh, as far as as far as music, videos, um, 
merch, all that, bro. Like, nigga works hard, bro. So he deserves it, man. Plus, you went through a lot, you know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not. Turn on my notifications to be notified every single time that I upload. All right, set up this in the beginning. But, squad, 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 gang, gang, gang. It's your boy, Nick T. I'm about to stay.